uh, uh, Prophetess Cassandra Love. Let's give her a hand. Amen. Amen. She's an awesome woman of God, and we began to connect up and do some things together. And I thank God for what He's doing. Amen. Amen. And I'd like to thank God also for uh, my leaders, Apostle Theron and Kathy Finch. Amen. Let's give them a hand. Amen. Amen. And also for uh, my beautiful, y'all, I'm sorry, brothers, I'm sorry. Y'all, now, I'm going to keep it real. Is that okay? Uh, y'all don't want me to be dry, do you? No. Uh, okay, I, I, I'm going to keep it real. Now, brothers, and, and, and I, I'm sorry, but I had the most beautifulest woman in the house on tonight. Amen? Would you stand up, baby? This is my beautiful wife. Amen? Amen. She, she keep brother in line, amen. amen. That's a good woman to keep a brother in line, ain't it? Amen. It ain't easy to keep a man right, amen? amen. But when you got a good woman, she'll make that thing all right, won't she? Amen. <laughs> amen. I'd like to thank God for uh, uh, my, my uh, cousin, Pastor Haley, and her uh, husband, Jerome, in the back, Pastor Haley Hopper. Amen. She's new to the married life. Amen. 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 My brother in Christ just walk in. Uh, Pastor Lynch, God bless you. Amen. And for the lady that had me, my mother, my wonderful mother, can you give her a hand? Amen. Amen. And yes, those are all my children back there, just in case you wanted to know. Amen. We do have a football team. Amen. Word of God said, blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. Amen? Right. I'm blessed. Go ahead, Amen. brother. Amen. My task is to bring forth the word. Amen. I'm not going to be before you long. Uh, we, of course, we're going to let the Holy Spirit have his way on tonight. And the, the word of the Lord is already blessed. We've already prayed for the word. And the conference on tonight we're talking about is dare to be different. Dare to be different. And we're going to talk about some things on tonight. Will it be okay if I keep it real? Yeah. Come on. We're going to talk about some things. We're going to talk about what it takes to be different. Amen? Yeah. Everybody can't be different. Amen? Come on. So, uh, I have a topic that the Holy Spirit was had gave me on tonight. And I want you to just look at somebody. Look at somebody, look at them real good. Everybody looking at somebody real good. And say, neighbor. Y'all got to say it louder there. Come on, y'all. I ain't going to be up here but a few more minutes. Say, neighbor. neighbor. Say, oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Say, when are you, you? going to right. right. get it right? Look at somebody else and say, neighbor. neighbor. Say, oh, neighbor. Oh, say, when are you? Yeah. Now put your hand at yourself and say your name, whatever your name is, say yourself, say when I'm going to get it right. That's what we're going to talk about tonight. When are you going to get it right? Amen? I could have came with all kind of big, big words, but we're just going to talk about when are you going to get it right? Amen? And we talk about daring to be different. And before we can begin to make a change, we ourselves have to what? Get it right. Amen? And the scripture that we're going to read on tonight, we're going to elaborate on, is 2 Corinthians, mm -hmm. the 6th chapter. Uh -oh. We're going to talk to the youth, and then we're going to talk to the parents. Amen? Amen. amen. If it's the truth, you can say amen, and amen. if not, I'm still going to preach. Amen? Amen. Amen. 2 Corinthians 6, and we're going to start at the 13th verse. When you have it, say amen. amen. And it reads, And now for a recompense in the same, I speak it to my children. Be ye also enlarged. Listen. Be, not, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion has light 
with darkness. What do you think about that? And what court has Christ with Baal? Or what part has he that believeth with the infidel? And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them and I will be their God and they shall be my people. Now we've been reading some things and if you listen, it's a separation. You're talking about two different type of people, okay? Now is the key verse, it's the 17th verse, amen? Wherefore, come from among them and be ye separate, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to stay right there on the 17th verse. It says, well, come, it says, wherefore, come from among them and be ye, what, separate. Why is it that a lot of times, everybody in here, we claim to be what? The children of God, amen? amen. Raise your hand if you say, sanctify the Holy Ghost field. A lot of times, we as the people of God, we are living a life that the people on the outside are not able to distinguish if God is living in our lives. Come on, you preaching already. <laughs> we, as the people of God, we, we church people, we got this thing down pat. We come to church, what? Uh, Sunday morning, we come Sunday night, we come on Wednesdays, we oh how I love Jesus, we speak in our heavenly language, but we won't witness to the person that stayed beside us that is dying and going to hell. Right. Say it. Come on, my brother. Say it. Why is it that the sinner man is comfortable cussing and drinking and doing all those things in front of us? Right. Say it. Tell somebody we got to have power. We got to have power. What is it that separates us from the rest? Why is it that the people of God, we are scared? Scared. We can do church all day. We not, we've been born and bred what? To do church. Amen. But when are we going to become kingdom minded? When are we going to tap into the things of God that will cause us to make a change? A lot of times we refuse to reflect the very nature of Christ. We are not standing boldly and proclaiming that God is our Father in fear of what others might say. Why is it that we worry about what somebody got to say? A lot of times, we worry about what other people have to say. Mm -hmm. But the word of God says, so we be pleasers of God or be pleasers of man. Uh -huh. And we have to choose to please the Lord. Amen? Amen. How do you know that when you begin to walk this Christian walk, that this is not an easy walk? How do you know that when you stood and you gave the Lord your life, that you went uh, 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 skipping in the field and smelling the roses, amen? And if anybody in here could give you a testimony, they tell sometimes it's, a, it's hard, what, to live for Jesus, amen? Is anybody out there could be a witness to that? Come on, how many, come on, you know sometimes that family member know you saved, but they cuss you out just to see how much Jesus you got in you? But I ain't gonna get nobody help me on the That's okay. They act like they got that type of family member. Say it. Preach. And some of them family members came with you tonight, amen? Hey. The same one that cuts you out to see how much Jesus you got. Preach. Preach, brother. Or what about when you've been pushed to your limit? Push. How can we be separate from the world? What separates us from the world is what? We put on the whole armor of God. Amen? 
you cannot go through battle if you don't have on the whole armor of God. Amen? You have to be dressed to be effective in what? Spiritual warfare. Amen. Here in the, in, in the letter that Paul wrote, 2 Corinthians, it says in the 14, Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Mm -hmm. Why is it that we want to be like the world? What is it about the world that makes the young people rebel against the things of God? What is it that wants to, that, that the young people do that causes them to want to wear their pants down? Amen? Say it, brother. What Preach. they call it? Sagging? Preach. Preach. And if we spell sagging backwards, what that spell? Oh, you can figure out what it spells. It says niggas. Amen? Yep. <laughs> what is it that, what influence do the parents, we're going to start from the top. What, it, what influence do the parents got in the home? That's good, right? We're going to talk to the parents, then we're going to talk to the children. Yeah. Why is the mothers trying to be friends with their daughters? <laughs> Come on, somebody said the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. You headed down a long road of destruction if you are parent and you trying to be your child's friend. Right. It ain't going to work. Little Johnny, little Susie going to grow up and they're going to tell you to shut up. Man, preach. And you know what we'll do, right? If little Johnny, little Susie tell us to shut up, amen? But what is the parents doing? We're going to start from talking about parents daring to be different. And before we can just talk to the children, we need to talk to the parents. Amen. How is the parents living at home? Do your children hear you on Sunday morning? Oh, she, I know, no, no, no. He out there doing all this, and then you cussing, fussing, and fighting at the house? Right. Right. I don't hear nobody, Pastor Nick, but it's okay. Yeah. It's the word anyway. Yeah. What kind of example are we living in front of our children when we are at home? Yeah. Believe it or not, out of anybody at that church that we can put this nice suit on with, and your nice hairdo, put on your nails. Amen. Amen. Ladies, put your look, look, number five, what it's called, Sicky Hawaiian, put your weave in and everything. You can put that in and you can play church. But a lot of times we've been playing church for too long. But God said, no more playing church. He said, He's going to put the sheets. Because He's looking for a people that's going to live holy and that's going to live right. So we can dress up and we can fake in front of all the people at church. They don't know how we are at home. That's right. But them little children, I get you get them in the room. They'll tell you if their mom and daddy say or not. Amen. Amen. I don't hear nobody. Amen. 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 You know how we do. You know how we do. You know we'll shake our kids to death before we go to church. Well, yeah. you better not say nothing that went on in this house. Amen. You better shut your mouth. Amen. Tell somebody that ain't right. Tell somebody stop being fake. Stop being fake. And be real. Be real. Because God, what well, He sees all anyway. Husbands, come on, we talk to the families tonight. How are you treating your wives, husbands? I ain't trying to get nobody in trouble. How are we treating our wives? And, and, me and are we loving our wives as Christ loved the church? Are we treating them like a doormat? Oh, we tell them to shut up every time they want to tell us something. I, ain't, I know I ain't going to get no witnesses here, brother. It's okay. Y'all women better say amen and preach, preacher. Amen. Amen. How are you treating your wives? 